So this is uh, looking for Pythagoras investigation two problem two point two. We're just going to get you started again on an investigation problem, especially if you're working at home and just need a reminder on how to do this. So in this problem, the idea is only use a calculator when you really have to, and in a lot of cases there's no need to use a calculator because if all we're doing is finding the side length of squares, if we know the area of the square we know the side lengths. If the area is 1, the side length is the square root of 1, which is just 1. Because the side length is always the square root of the area. So if the area is 9, the side length has to be the square root of 9, which is 3. 3 squared is 9, the root of the square. If I were actually to look at the square, its side lengths would have to be 3. If I were to look at this other one, the side lengths would have to be 1. 3 squared is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. So all we're doing now is reverse operations. If the area is 16, the side length is the square root of 16, which is 4. 4 squared is 16. If the area is 25, the side length is the square root of 25, which is 5. And so these are basic square root numbers we should know. The square root of 1, the square root of 9, the square root of 16, the square root of 25. Because 1 squared is 1, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25. Those are the roots of the square, of the area of the square. So I can go the other way. If I want to find the area, and I know the side length is 12, then it's 12 squared, 444 is the area. Area is the side length squared. 2.5 is the side length, and so if I take 2.5 squared, then I have the area of 6.25. So all we're now doing is really working with squares and square roots back and forth. I'm, I'm trying to find the missing number. I had to know what number did I take the square root of to get 12. That means I had to have had 12 squared, so this had to have been 144. Okay, what number to take the square root of and get 2.5, I had to have started with 6.25. The square root of 6.25 is 2.5. So again, we're just working forward and backward in these particular problems. And we, we want to be able to find squares and square roots and then actually calculate those distances or numbers at some point. And so that should get you started on problem 2.2 as well as you continue to work with squares and square roots.